My name is Adele Santos and I was Dean of the School of Architecture and Planning before Hashim Sarkis. I've been at MIT since 2004 and practicing again as an architect and planner and I'm also teaching at MIT. My name is Hashim Sarkis. I'm the current Dean of the School of Architecture and Planning. I'm also an architect practicing between Cambridge, Massachusetts and Beirut, Lebanon. The partnership that the School of Architecture and Planning is forming with FAUSPI in Brazil is really a ratification of a very long uh, historical collaboration that our school has had with Brazil on a variety of project types. We have been very much involved in Brazil on community building projects, we have been involved in arts projects, we have been involved in public health projects, and uh, really this is not just one more installation, but an attempt to consolidate these efforts with a long-term plan MIT thrives on difficult problems, challenges that are not within one domain or the other, but that bring different fields, different experts from different areas, different sectors, to work together on solving very challenging problems that help improve our society. Housing is the poster child of such problems, and we're very eager to take this project on. So the Leventhal Center for Advanced Urbanism was formed about four, four years ago and the real purpose is looking at the urban condition and all the changes that are taking place and there's a lot of it's very dramatic. So we have this research group and every two years we have um, a conference but we also this year are going to have an exhibition and that's what's really important here just to describe is that you know we, we will do our workshops and out of it will come proposals and uh, in the best of all worlds, we'll take this further as a kind of continuing research project. And the idea is to have products that we can show in an exhibition. Uh, in the best of all worlds, we'll have prototypes that are actually built, or parts of prototypes that could be built, or big models actually showing the, the concepts behind this. So it'll be uh, quite a provocative kind of exhibition. And we're, right now, our contacts are actually, we've got some in Africa, uh, we've got Asia, we've got Bangladesh and, and India, uh, they will have Colombia and hopefully Brazil and so it will be an incredible kind of global mix of looking at housing for people who need it actually in these different contexts. Let me give an example directly from Brazil. Currently there are several state programs that are trying to address the shortage of housing. These programs are really dealing with housing as a product, as a product that you buy from some supplier and that you throw on the edges of the city in order to meet the demands. But housing should be thought of as a outcome of a deep interrogation of the needs and demands of the public, engaging them effectively directly in a process that leads to outcomes that are desirable, and at another level to look at the state-of-the-art technologies that are available in the construction industry in order to provide forward-looking housing that really meets the aspirations of the citizens. We're going to Colombia and we're working with a, a private foundation who are building affordable housing outside of Cartagena. What we're thinking about for Sao Paulo is a different model because uh, whilst you can be on the outside outskirts of Cartagena, in, in Sao Paulo, you really have to be in the city. I mean, this is very essential. And so the typologies we'll be talking about and the way in which community is built there will be multi-layered. It, it's not single, single buildings, for sure. And I think we are very excited by the idea that we will solve housing for the same kind of demographic, if you will, but with a different set of conditions that is also culturally quite different as well. That we take students uh, to places like Sao Paulo or Cartagena or in China, we do it often, and we have a very intense period of you know, three to four weeks where we're working every day, literally, with usually a, a local institution. So in this case it would be Flowers Matter, but we get together and brainstorm, and it's really important to have the local input, because we can't possibly imagine all the variables about the culture. And we also rely on a lot of information to set the basis for doing these investigations. But it's about research, actually. That's what's very important. Yeah. So what impressed me the most in my last visit to Sao Paulo were two qualities that I think are essential for the project of housing. The first is the large-scale mobilization 
of resources, of engineering, of public opinion and public participation in the transformation of the city and the landscape. A river gets reversed. A highway gets built through urban fabric, but with the participation of the neighborhoods. This mindset, along with the deep respect that Brazilian society has for the transformative capacity of architecture, is very necessary for embarking on a project on housing that will be really transformative. The hope is that this collaboration will help establish a laboratory under the umbrella of the Leventhal Center for Advanced Urbanism to address the challenges that Brazilian cities and regions are facing in this new phenomenon of rapid urbanization.